Okay, deck profile time. So this is a Eldritch deck that's been quite popular since the release of the Brave Engine slash Adventure Engine. Uh, it's kind of like a toolbox, Cybus, um, one card combo deck, I suppose, that can go into Verti and Dagda. The idea is to take advantage of Verti and Dagda because they're really insane cards. While be while being under to play under Scythe using the Eldritch engine, so it is actually quite a versatile deck. You play quite a few uh, main deck outs to Scythe as well, the Droplets and the Cobbler Grave. So it is quite a cool, uh, versatile deck. I would like to test it around myself. This is the deck that I've put together uh, off some inspiration from MST TV's deck profile on it and some of the deck profiles that have been flying around. So. Yeah, without further ado, we can get straight into it. So, playing two Lords. Uh, obviously, Lord is part of the Eldritch engine. It's quite small that we play in this deck. We also play uh, Cybus Gadget. So, if this card is normal summoned, you can target a uh, level 2 or lower monster in your graveyard, special summoning defense. So, that's good at link climbing. Also, if it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon a token. So, again, I think this card is just really busted for just opening up into Verti and a Dag to turn 1. Um, so yeah, really cool cards. Play Dot Skipper as well. Um, so this card in general, I th I've always loved this card. I have it in my draft format. I play it um, in like those little rogue strategies as well. So I, I really like this card. It's one for one target. You could play one for one in this deck. Uh, we don't, but you could. It's Cyrus. It was searchable on Sonic Mining. L really cool card. It's w it's a one card uh, Verti as well, which is pretty insane. And a Fire Guardian. So if you're not familiar with this card, uh, if you sent to the graveyard's link material, uh, basically special summon it back, but it's banished when it leaves the field. Uh, same as Dotskeeper. I believe Dotskeeper is banished. Yeah. And it has another effect, which is not really relevant, I suppose. But um, yeah, these cards are basically one card Vertes. So you want to play as many extenders as possible. Get into like Verti or Dagda turn one. And yeah, take advantage of the Brave Engine going first as well. You can just set up in the gate before you do all that stuff. Um, so you could potentially set up a, I think maximum board is Verti, uh, Dagda, Scythe combo with a Adventure token as well, plus a Griffin. So yeah, really cool deck. I, I really like the idea. It's very creative. Um, I love it when decks like this come to the format because they play under Scythe and you're uh, using cards like the Eldritch engine as well, which is pretty insane. Um, playing Cynet Mining. So a lot of people are cutting this, but I quite like it to use as bait. So, let's say for example, you play 9 starter cards, right? 9 uh, Cybers cards. It is a 42 card deck, but we'll get onto that in, in a minute. Why? Um, well, I think it's obvious because you play so many bricks, you don't want to draw, so I thought I'd play a little bit more than 40 cards. Um, Sonic Mining can be used as bait, so if you open this in Eldritch, an Eldritch engine, you can just send that, and then if they ash it, you're like, cool, and then just proceed to, to play. But you can also use set up the Enchantress and stuff as well, uh, with the Griffin then mining so I prefer to have it in my opinion you could always side one out or two out going second uh, but I think it's a really good card especially gives you uh, more access to these guys which are pretty broken um, the droplet obviously just insane this card is just broken like absolute god card um, so not much to say about that obviously two fusion destiny because we play Verte uh, foolish burial so not many, not many people playing this but I quite like it to send off a dots keeper um, or a guardian because you can summon it back with a gadget, so it does give you plays. Cobble the Grave, another scythe out, and it is very versatile to stop hand traps, etc. Um, and then obviously this small little Eldritch package, which is uh, really effective to pitch off your mining um, and to play around scythe or play through scythe, scythe, I suppose. Also, really good to send off droplets as well, uh, as it gives you so much advantage going into those uh, grind games. So yeah, little 42 card deck. I really like it. I really like testing it. And uh, I'll probably mess around a bit of locals, see how I get on. And if you guys want to see uh, more content about my locals and stuff, follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram. I, I normally post up uh, reports and stuff on there. So check me out on there. Uh, for the side deck, I'll probably yeah do the side deck first. Uh, I'm not going to go into it too much, to be fair. It's just really generic stuff that I think is really important in this format. Uh, Nibiru could be replaced with Ash or Ogre, but um, it's only a two card flex space. So you could perhaps play like two Lightning Storm instead uh, to have more coverage. Uh, but this is probably quite a solid um, extra deck at the moment. Sorry, side deck. Um, 
I like anti spell this for, uh, this format. I think it's absolutely insane. I'm gonna keep saying this. I think it's just a really good card. This format. So you want to play cards that are chainable to the, this card for sure. If you're playing Brave, like Cosmic, so uh, yeah, pretty really cool. And then for the extra deck, we're gonna go in straight into the uh, Link sort of climbers. So Devotee. So if, if this card uh, is press summoned, uh, you can you cannot summon Link to your higher monsters. So that's fine because you're just gonna vert and dagger anyway. But um, it basically gives you a token. That's, that's all it does really. Same as uh, the Disciple. Um, well, it doesn't give you a token, but you contribute a card uh, points to to get to draw a card. So it has like a fairy shit effect, uh, which is pretty cool. Obviously, spider to link away your tokens. Same with uh, link rebo can link off your dot keeper, and linger rebo can come up as well. Going second, it's trap decks. Uh, Verite dagger, of course, and we also play liner because it's just good for stealing stuff. Um, if you're against like Eldritch, you can take the Lord and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's really cool to take uh, Monsters in the Grave and Link Climb into an Access Code. Uh, playing IP, I'm not too sure how I feel about IP and Cerberus, but um, I thought I'd add them in anyway. Probably have to test them out a bit more. Have, haven't really come up so far. Um, but it's just a good option because you can, like IP into Unicorn is always going to be really strong. Doesn't matter what format you're in. Uh, yo, how's it going? I'm, I'm good, thanks. How's, how are you? Appreciate you joining. Um, anyway, sorry, I'm on, I'm on Twitch. Um, but this is for my uh, YouTube, so uh, I'm talking to chat and doing YouTube videos. <laughs> uh, access codes, obviously very good cards, especially in this deck, you have so much fodder uh, to banish. So a uh, really cool card, and then obviously DBE because it's good at triggering Scythe, good at breaking boards, really good card in general. So that is the deck. So just a little rundown um, of a template you can use in the future. Let me just save that and uh, catch you guys in the next.